The biggest difference in a USMLE or complex question when differentiating osteomas from osteoid osteoma is the osteoid osteoma is going to be painful, whereas the osteoma is not painful. And something that I'm going to kind of go off onto a tangent here that will get you a point on a practice exam for sure is the association of osteomas with Gardner syndrome. So Gardner syndrome, I like to remember the mnemonic topic, T-O-P-I-C. The T stands for tumors. As you're going to see, there's a ton of tumors. O for osteomas. P for polyposis. They get very, very many polyps in their colon, in their colon, and actually they need to get a colectomy to have a normal lifespan. I for impacted teeth. So all of their teeth are essentially supernumerary and then they're impacted into each other, into their gums. And then the C, they're going to have a bunch of cutaneous lesions. So that's topic, T-O-P-I-C, tumors, osteomas, polyposis in the colon, I for impacted teeth, and then C for cutaneous lesions. So Gardner syndrome is basically a subtype of adenomatous polyposis coli. And so these patients have to get a colectomy and they need CT scans every three years for the rest of their life to make sure that the other tumors, such as the desmoid tumors that you can get in Gardner syndrome, do not kill you. And so these patients have a relatively good prognosis if you catch it early, but you need to know the association of osteomas with Gardner syndrome. And so this will get you a point on your test if you keep that in the back of your mind.